Okay, so I'm working on some of the plumbing underneath the sink. Uh, I've got a little bit of it hooked up right now. Um, this is the water coming in. This is a T that heads that sends the water um, into the plumbing system. Uh, if you want to just use pressurized city water, you can basically just, it's a flip of a couple of valves and then the water will just start coming through and bypass the tank. Um, and then the water coming out of the, um, the water pump, which is down there and, uh, the, uh, accumulator tank, uh, come up out and then we have a tee off that goes into the water, the hot water tank. And then hot water comes through, and then I've got to set. I got to hook up the rest of my hot water assembly down here. Um, cold water tees off at that same spot where the the hot water comes in, and then it comes through here. And I've got a valve hooked up for uh, the sink, and then it comes around here. And then I've got another valve for the exterior shower. That's the cold water for the exterior shower. The reason that I have it on a valve is so that nobody can uh, open it up and drain my tank out of spite or whatever, steal my water. Um, so by having a, a valve in here, you can shut off the ability for the, the, the shower to work. Anyway, uh, it takes, it's very tight in here, and this is a very big tool, and maneuvering all these angles to get the, to attach the pecs, is difficult so what i'm doing is i'm prefabricating all of the pieces and trying to get them about in the the shape that i want them and then it's just a matter of lifting the whole thing threading it through exactly where you want it and then um you know attach here attach there and you're done and also wherever there's a hookup like here Okay, I've assembled a couple of the valve offshoots that I'm going to do. I'm going to try to keep the pipe to run as straight as try to keep the pipe running as straight as possible. So it comes in, and then this part is going to be attached right where it comes off of the hot water heater. And this is a T that will feed the kitchen sink. And then there will be a little continuation of the line. And then there's this valve which connects to the shower right there and then the water, hot water continues on its way down the pipe toward the interior shower. Okay, so I'm obviously not a plumber, but uh, what I've got set up works, I'm sure. Um, so we've got the water line coming in, it's just a straight shot right out to the, uh, to the shower. And I've got the two attachments that I put together. Everything is just dry fit. And so, I like the way that this is set up right now. Um, I've got clearance for all of my, my valves. So, um, I am going to take this Sharpie that I just lost, right there. And I'm just marking how these are going to fit together. And there we go. Okay, so I got it all flushed in there. Um, hot and cold under the sink run for the outside shower and for the kitchen sink. And now we've got two pipes that head out this way. They come under the cabinet, go up through my decorative brass conduit. Uh, and then up behind the cabinets, over the top, right to there. And there's my shower, and that's where my sink's gonna go. Pretty slick.